Hello and welcome to episode 2 in the data pack series. We are just going to be making a very simple predicate and for this example I'm going to be using the sneak. Okay so let's have a look at what it's actually going to do. It's quite simple we have a repeating command block and inside there we are checking to see if we are sneaking using a predicate. If I sneak it says you are sneaking. Pretty simple. Not much point wasting any more time waffling about an intro because I think that explained it quite well. So let's get on and build it now. Okay, since we're making a predicate, we're going to start in MISO's predicate generator, link in the description. And what I want to do is make a simple is crouching or is sneaking predicate. That's quite a nice easy one. We'll just go down to flags down here and we'll just pick sneaking equals true. And we have our predicate made for us. So I'm going to copy that. Control, copy. It'd be nice to know where the predicate goes though. So let's look at the wiki. And the wiki is going to tell us where we need to put it. So predicate files are part of the data pack directory structure highlighted below. Data pack name, data, namespace, predicate. And it goes in there. So I need a new folder called predicate. Okay, I think we can do that. Let's pop over to VS Code. Now, if you don't know how to get to this point, you can watch episode one, we'll link in the description. Um, I don't have a tick function because we're not going to be using it. And I've changed my pack, so now it's sneaking predicate, and I've changed my load function, so now it says episode two I've loaded. That's all I've done. Okay, so it was namespace, it was folder, data, namespace, predicate. So we need to right click on our namespace. And we'll make a new folder, predicate. So now we've got our new folder. Let's shrink down this one and this one. And inside there, we need a new file. I'm going to call it is sneaking because that makes sense. And it's a JSON file. And all I'm going to do is paste in that predicate we just made. Now I've got the white dot, so I better save that. OK, so we're done. Our predicate is made. Now, do take note, it is currently under our namespace. You could put it under the Minecraft namespace. And we'll see the difference in a minute. Let's pop off to Minecraft. Here we go. Right, if we get ourselves a command block and pop that down, we'll make it repeat, always active. And we'll just do a tell roar. Tell raw for all players, and we'll make a nice, a nice little tell raw that just says something like, uh, "You are sneaking." Okay, so we can see this is going to run for every player all the time. Let's use our predicate. Predicate equals. Now, if I just put its name is sneaking, and we press done, and I shrink, and I shrink, I'm not shrinking. I'm sneaking and crouching. Nothing's happening. Because we haven't defined our namespace, it's looking inside the Minecraft namespace. We didn't put our predicate there. We put it inside our namespace, which is Infernal Device, YouTube, 002, colon. Okay, so let's actually go and look. Where is this? IDY2. ITYT underline 002 colon is sneaking. Let's pop back to VS Code. We have IDYT, so it's our namespace, and we ignore function and we ignore the predicate directory because it knows the predicates should be in there. So it's this name here, our namespace, and this name here, our predicate. That's what we're checking. Let's go back. Let's say done and let's do a little bit of a sneak. Yep, there we go. You are sneaking. Now we can call this in a different way as well. Let's get rid of all of this. And let's do this at S. Or we could even say at A. Let's say at A for now. And let's do execute if predicate. Oh, look, it's found the predicate for me. Perfect. It's trying to autofill it. OK, yeah, that's the one we want. Run now. This is a valid command, but will it do anything? 
no, it's not doing anything because our predicate is looking for someone and we're just saying execute if predicate. So I'm guessing the command block is running this and the command block is not sneaking. So in here, we're going to have to, let's say, as all players, now we're going to be checking the players. And since we're executing as the player, at the end, we can now do at S. Done, and let's have a little sneak. And you are sneaking. Okay, so we've got two different ways of running the predicate there as well. I believe they can also be used in advancements and loot tables. In fact, let's pop over to the wiki and have a little look. I think it says you can do that. It's going to be down in there. Oh, here we go. In addition to predicate files, predicates themselves are used in other locations within other data pack files, such as advancements and loot tables. So, okay, well, we're not going to be doing anything with that today. Today we are finished. We have made ourselves VS Code, a nice little predicate. We've popped it in our namespace. And now in our game, we can call that whenever we want, just to check if the player is sneaking. There we go. Oh, get that text off my face. A nice, super easy one, which just basically just to show you where the predicates go and how you can check using them. Okay. Take care, have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.